So before we talk about the trade that happened for Montreal Canadiens, remember when we talked about the Archanov trade that I was talking about? Like, they were going to swap size, but, but never happened? So the Montreal Canadiens did the unthinkable and traded trade their prospect player away for the same player that we were, I was talking about a couple of days ago. And it was pretty funny because I posted it on, I posted it, and I don't know, I got really a lot of hate on it. But anyways, guys, this is what the trade comes down to. Pretty much it's a one for one because they're, com like, there's no eighth round. But, so it pretty much, it's like, uh, if he plays 40 games, this cancels out and there's no pick. So pretty much, it's like this. Pretty much is a one for one trade. The trade, the picks, you kind of can't, could cancel it out because now I think Montreal signed him to a contract. It was like a five or six year contract for $5 million for the next, I think, five, six years. I think six years. So that cancels out the picks. And now if Montreal, if he plays 40 games for Tampa, that will cancel out. So pretty much it's just a one for one trade. I think it's a good trade for Montreal, but they're giving up a, a pretty much a stud defense that he can play in the NHL next year, and he will probably do well. And this guy is still 18 years old, and they're giving him away. So they just threw a, like they're just that's what they need. That's what they need. So now you lose a defense, gain a forward. So now, what is Montreal going to do? Are they going to gain trade an iron player for a defense? Or just leave it how it is? But I don't know. But this trade, I don't know. Let's see how the season goes next year. Then we'll talk about who won the trade. Because right now, I don't, I say Montreal. But he could do really well in Tampa. And it could be Tampa. But we don't know. We don't know because he is the Durant is um, Quebec native. He lives. He he is a Quebec Quebec native. So there could be pressure on him playing in Montreal because Montreal loves their Quebec, the Canadian French Canadians playing for them. So it could he could be pressure on him. He might not put. Up the goals he did in Tampa this year. And let's see. He like Yeah, this year he probably didn't put up the goals. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this trade. Because I think it could be an even trade. Because without the picks, this is a one for one, for one trade. And there, that's where it goes. So... Pretty much as a one for one trade, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about the trade. Because you right now, I think Montreal, it's the only two picks. One, like, The picks kind of doesn't matter. It's just the players because they're, they're not like just picks. They're down the road if they get them. So the trade, they did accept it. So there it goes. Guys, I'm out, guys. Peace.